Ashley Williams live in Sacramento at CrossFit Iron Mile with more on her upcoming journey to Miami. Good morning. Yes. Hi, good morning. This is such an incredible story. You just said she was an aerial dancer eight years ago, became paralyzed uh, from the waist down, and now she decided to take on a CrossFit and is dominating. And I love this story. I can't wait for you guys to learn more about Teresa here. Teresa, thank you so much for letting us join you this morning. Oh, you're welcome, Vanessa. Nice to have you here. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. So right now we are at Iron Mile, a big CrossFit gym in Sacramento. And this is where you've been training for the past four years or so. Uh, but before we get into that, let's talk about your journey and your story. Okay. Tell us what happened eight years ago. Um, I was an aerial dancer, professional aerial dancer. I have an aerial dance group, and during a rehearsal, um, I fell off of an aerial silk on my back and broke it at T9, which paralyzed me from about the waist down. Wow, wow. And so, uh, following that injury, uh, you obviously went into rehab, um, but you wanted to take on something. So, you're not just sitting around. You wanted to, you know, you said, I, I want to take on something um, that might not even be easy. You wanted to challenge yourself. And tell us about that. Exactly. Well, I still am involved with the aerial group as far as choreographing and directing, but I don't get to move around like I used to. And I really was searching for something that would set the bar high for me again that I could work towards. So four years ago, I started CrossFit and really fell in love with it. Had never done it before, but it really gave me something to work towards and started finding out about adapted competition. And then I learned about Waterpalooza. Yeah, so insert Waterpalooza. You went two years ago for the first time, correct? I actually went last year. Oh, last year for the yeah, first time. 2019, yeah. Okay, about so, it. so tell us about Waterpalooza, by the way. It is in Miami, and you're training for that right now. But what was that experience for you like last year? Um, it was amazing. Waterpalooza is an international CrossFit festival that's been going on for quite a while. And so there's athletes from all, all over the world that come in. It's a very high-level adapted division that's there. And so I was really excited that I was able to qualify for that. Yeah. Okay. So I asked you earlier. I said, you know, what kind of events do they have at Wadapalooza? They surprise you. So she'll have no idea walking into or going into this. But really quick, tell me. Last year you were surprised. Listen to this story. Well, last year we we. Devin had been before, actually, my, my coach, and so this is Devin, and so I knew that they swam, and I said, what do you think? They're going to they're gonna make us swim. Oh, we, I don't think they're going to make you guys. They did. So we, that was the first event when we got there. The first day was a, a mile roll in our wheelchairs and then 400 meters in the ocean swimming. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. It was that difficult for you? It was... Mentally, I didn't know exactly what was going to happen because I was a strong swimmer before I got hurt, but I hadn't been in the water wow. at all since. So wow. it went really well. I was really, really thrilled with how well it went. Wow. So. The Waterpalooza is in just a couple of weeks. So you've been training, guys, listen to this, six days a week, two-day workouts. Just to gear up for Wadapalooza. So, really quick, Devin, you've been training with her for a couple of for four years now or so. Um, we are excited because next hour we're going to get a chance to work out with Teresa. But tell us about working with her and what you are doing to make sure she is prepared for Wadapalooza. Just getting her ready for whatever they may throw at her, right? We knew they swam. We know they swam last year. So, getting ready for swim, we've talked about indoor swimming just because it's cold here. So, yeah. get her doing that, um, making sure. She's ready for any movement they have. We're working on strength because that was a big thing last year. So okay. get her stronger, ready to lift any odd objects they have, any barbells, and make sure she's confident and ready to go on the time that's ready to do it. All right, there it is. Here at Iron Mile, she's been training. So coming up in the next hour, we will train with her. And speaking of lifting barbells, she's going to take on how much, how heavy is it? This is, this is going to be 35 pounds right, with the so, bar and the weights. All right, there yep. it is. All right, cool. More on Teresa and Devin in just a little bit. Stay with us. Cool. Wow. What an cool. incredible story. Ashley, thank you.